was a little late on the news because I was busy. But Chris, I was not gonna omit to come get up on your ass. Like your back pockets. I I was got to no homo. I was I had to. Cause I had to. So y'all go back and watch it, but not right now. Just listen to what, what happened first. Hold on. This is just the meet and greet portion of the show, but I got to get this shit off my chest, too. Now, Shawana Shanks, what up? Hold up, Monica Desiree. I ain't going to forget you. Lawanda Woods Griffin, I appreciate you coming, baby. I know y'all was up in there top five being in the chat first, second, and third, and fourth, and fifth. What's happening, Keisha? What's up, Danielle with the D? What's happening, baby? Danielle with a D. What's happening, Ethel? Dr Ethel. Girl, your damn name, Ethel. Rodrigo, what's happening, baby girl? What's happening? Welcome to the Let Me Show Show. All right, let me catch up. Woo, let me take a drink. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know I'm sipping a sip, sip. Now, y'all know I got to get my sip before we get started. Because I got to get right where I need to be. So I can tell y'all exactly what happened with the white guy, Mitch, uh, uh, I mean, not Mitch, Chris Malone. Chris Malone was wilding out, so, so to speak. He, he kind of was wilding out to me. He said, he said that Stacey Abrams, they called Stacey Abrams Fat Albert, and he the head coach for the football team in Chattanooga, assistant coach. To the Chattanooga team. He ain't even no big team. Now, he got a whole bunch of niggas on his squad. But he going to feel the need to go vouch for Trump so hard about this voter fraud that he going to call, uh, uh, he called the fat girl and he called the fat Albert. He said big, he called the big girl at the end. And he called the fat Albert at first. I said, oh, hell no, hell no, you big neck bitch. Why would you call Stacey Abrams that? That lady ain't did nothing to nobody. She ain't responsible for the votes. If it was some votes missing, it wouldn't have been her that did it. She was helping niggas to go get vote, to go vote. Why would she, why would she, this don't make sense to me. Why would you think she stole some votes? That's number one dumb. That's number one dumb. Number two dumb was... Nobody stole any votes. Now, your stupid ass, ain't nobody steal no votes, and you done got fired from your job for tweeting and calling Lady Fat Albert. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know Boogie B don't play that now. Come on, Rodrigo. This the Let Me Stretch You Out show. I roast for the Lord. I ain't gonna roast you for no reason. Charlotte Jessica Rabbit, you know me, you know how I do. Nah, come on now. Christine Holloway, I'm trying to sneak into heaven too. Shit, everybody else gonna be up there. I'm trying to get up there too. I don't wanna be there wrong somebody for no reason. Who, who birthday it is? Girl, your uh, Ethel, Ethel Turner. Your name birthday, your, your, it's your damn birthday today. I'll say your name birthday. Your dad, it's your birthday today, Ethel Turner, Ethel T. F the T with the oldest name in the Let Me Stress You Out show ain't nobody name older than yours. Now, I know a lot of people's name is old because they got their grandma name or they got their mama name or whoever laid on down the line in their family. But damn, Ethel, Ethel, Ethel Drunk. Your damn name, Ethel. I'm going to call you Ethel because it is Ethel. You try to add the DRA at the end to throw us off, to make it seem like it's younger. But no, it's not. Happy birthday to you, baby. I'm so glad you came on your birthday, Ethel. Hey, I'm glad you're here for whatever birthday this is for you. Hey, this is a birthday that's special. A lot of niggas ain't making it to be your age. I don't know if you know it. Happy birthday to uh, El El Ethel before I go ham on, in this, on this dude. Happy birthday to my good friend Ethel. She's one of my boogettes that comes every, to the Levy Stress You Out show every day. She show love every day. And she, you know, comes to the, hit the cash app and show me love. She just a boogette. What, what upstanding woman of substance and noteworthy vagina. What else can I say about it? So listen, Ethel, happy birthday, baby. But you know, even though it's your birthday, I must, I must admit to tell you this. I gotta tell you this, Ethel. 
this white man did say Saban's wrong, and I couldn't stand for it, and I won't stand for it. So I had to stress him out. So I did the video roast. I want y'all to go see the roast. It's one minute. But just let me give you the summary of it, because I can't stand a whole long, leaking, long neck white boy, a, a redneck bat. Like, oh, I can't stand a, a goose, a great blue heron, a egret neck, a, a, a pink flamingo neck. You know one of them white boys whose neck poke out like this, and they got that big bump right there. And they long, and they neck long as, they neck, they neck look like a forearm. They got a long, he one of them old goofy ass white, white boys that he got the nerve to talk about, uh, Stacey Abrams and Fat Albert. When your neck long like that, boy, you know you need to relax. You already lost the little hair you had hanging on on your head. Now you about to lose, now you about to lose everything. Now the deal ain't about to start going down if it ain't already went down. This is about to go negative for you. This is going to go totally negative for you, Chris Malone. Chris Malone, this type of behavior leads to ED. It's erectile dysfunction is what it leads to, and you you about to have it. Now, hey, just because you're a tall white man, we know you got that little bit of pee, -pee now. We know you got that little bit of pee, -pee now, and that's why you, you upset with the black folks. Or you upset with the Democrats because you're dealing small and that don't have nothing to do with us. But you fall for anything. When you have a thing to lean that small, you fall for anything. It's easy to get hit them with the trickery. Oh, my God. It's easy to hit him with the trickery. He done been tricked by Donald Trump to think that somebody really stole some votes. And ain't nobody in the proof. Ain't even never come out that they stole no votes. But he willing to lose his career over this, over Donald Trump in, in, the, in the vote scam. So he went on Twitter and said all this and got and got fired. Chattanooga came out on and said, we don't fuck with long neck bastards uh, no more at our school. And uh, we would like to let y'all know that he will no longer be with us. And that's what they tweeted. That's what the school he was working at, they tweeted, yes, we don't fuck with. We don't fuck with no dude built like a number two pencil neck bastard. I don't know nothing, nothing. They don't like that at his school no more. So they let him go on to his house. And he just going to sit at I told him to coach football online. I told him to coach. I told him to coach on YouTube. I said, just get on, start your YouTube channel where you hike the ball every day. And you say, well, this is what you got to do if you want to go to a uh, school that I used to hey, coach that before I got fired. For being a dumbass. Yeah, so y'all hike the ball. Let me show you. Come on, nigga. You'll never be a... Ain't nobody gonna hire your ass again. And you're already old. You're already too old to start over to start looking for another damn career assistant coach job. You'll never make it to head coach. You will always be an assistant coach now, Chris Malone. You will never make it to the, your dream job to pass you by. You wanted to be the head coach. In the NFL, now you done got fired from assistant coach at a community college or at a or, or at an HBCU or whatever the fuck it was. Oh, I'm on one today, Robbie. You know how I get sometimes. Y'all make sure y'all pre-order your purple pack uh, hoodies too. I need y'all to get on y'all purple pack hoodies, boogettes. All my double dips, especially. Most of y'all already put your order in, but I need you to put your order in on purple pack. Who knew in this chat? Who knew in the in the Let Me Stretch You Out show? Anybody in here? This your first time ever? Damn. This your first time seeing me? The whole motherfucking background fell down. Ladies and gentlemen, we're having some technical difficulties. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> uh, well, this is going to look like I'm in a project now. Um, uh, so, yeah. Let me try to, hold up, let me see if I can, damn, man, my whole shit done fell out. Damn, hold on, y'all. Mm -hmm. Shit, hold up. Oh, man, it ain't gonna be up there good, but I gotta get it back up there. That ain't gonna hold too long, but 
Anyways, let me get, get, get going from guy. I get my technical difficulties together. Thank y'all so much. This is the Black Show. Just in case you didn't know that I was a Negro, now when the sign fell, now you truly know that I'm not bullshitting when I be talking to y'all. I am a Negro. I got the motherfucker backdrop taped up with some damn band-aids. I, I couldn't find no tape, so I just stuck a bunch of band-aids up there to hold it up. I was like, you know what? You know how we do in the hood. We'll think of something that'll fix something now, won't we? Net, Net, tell me you wouldn't have thought to put no, if you ain't got no tape, you would have said, you know what? We ain't got no thumbtacks or no tape. Let's put some band-aids up there. You got them butterfly band-aids? Stick them up there. And that might help it stick. But the, obviously the butterfly band-aids know that this wall ain't bleeding. So they just peel right off. It's like, you know what? Never mind. This wall don't need me. You trying to use me up. So that's why it fell down. Anyways, the only let me stress you out show. Hey, you know, come on now. I know you know my crew. I'm, you know we ain't petty like that now. We petty. But we ain't petty like that now. We still gonna roll with the show now. Even if a motherfucker fall down, stay up. Let me stress you out show is full of good coochie. Good coochie got better things to do than worry about this backdrop. Now they got better things to do. They trying to block text messages not coming to their phone. You know, hey, they trying to get their man off their booty right now while they watching the Let Me Stress You Up. I was showing the dude trying to hunch on you. Tell him, wait, let, let me let Boogie B finish first before you try to get some of this purple pack again. Let me tell you, get your purple pack hoodies, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't see nobody new in the chat. So I'm going to just go ahead and assume that all y'all is just about Boogettes. And, it, and we don't need to explain it. We don't need to tell nobody what Purple Pack is, Dawn, because everybody here who already been coming here. Arnisha, you know what Purple Pack is? No, hold up. All that laughing now. Y'all calm all that laughing down. San Quinetta, what's happening, baby? You ain't been here in a minute now. You snuck up in here. Drewski, the liquidator, put your damn hand down. You been in here before, nigga. I seen you. I see you wanted a bros already. Come on, now cut it out. Shea Brown said, tell the ball looking ass. Yeah, you saw the roast. Thank you so much uh, for watching the roast of Chris Malone. I hope he get his shit together because I never did end up. I did tell him at the end to just start him a YouTube page. And that's all he can do. He could probably make plenty of money teaching people how to hike the ball or go out for a pass or whatever he was trying to teach him when he was assistant coach. You gonna have to assist your ass to that YouTube. Assist that, assist that online following, and then just make your money that way. Cause there's still some big country white boys who would love nothing better than to support uh, Chris Malone and his racist long neck. Nigga got a, he got a neck like a single rose vase. You ever seen a rose that you put, you put the vase that you put one rose in, it got the little curve and it's long and it's skinny. That's his neck. He got a single rose boss neck. It's long as hell. Got the nerve to be all talking about somebody sat out, but it all that shit. Sit your ass down, boy. Anyway, what up, Martin? Just to let me stretch you out, show, bro. I'm glad you weren't here a minute ago when this background fell. I knew you would have been trying to get some jokes off, nigga. Nah, nah, don't. Too late. You missed it. You missed your opportunity, brother. Maybe it'll fall again and you'll be getting in and get a chance to get your little jokes off. But my book ass wasn't playing all that anyway. Lake Shay Renee, what's happening? Hey, I got it. I know. I got, he got them dollar store butterfly bed days holding the sign up. You know how shit goes sometimes. You got to work on what you got to work with. Boogie from Philly. It's your birthday too? Bernetta. Oh shit, Bernetta. It's your birthday coming up on the 14th. Okay, you gonna get your shout out on the 14th. Come your ass back on the 14th. I'm here five days a week. You don't need to get your shout out that in advance. You need to come on the day of or the day before and say my birthday tomorrow. And that's what you do, Bernetta. I know it's coming, so happy early birthday, but I need to tell you your birthday happy on the birthday happy. How about that? Now, they everybody try to get that shit early in case I don't see you. No, nigga, come back. Don't try to, don't try to not see me. You know where I'm at. Five days a week right here on the damn Let Me Stretch You Out show every day. Standing here, uh, 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 working it out every day, no matter what happens. Five days a week, you can count on Boogie B to be here for one hour or 
four days a week, sometimes three, depending on if I'm working. But I try to come for y'all every time I can. What up, Shimmy? Shimmy, what's up, baby? The northern now in here. I ain't see you in a minute, baby. Glad to have you back, Shimmy. You done came, you done start coming back. Now you ready to talk your crazy yeah, Shimmy, what you been doing, Shimmy? What you been getting up? What you been getting braided down? You been getting your hair braided down up under your wig? What you been doing all that time? Why you wasn't coming here? Because sometimes, what you been getting some long micro braids? Because sometimes that could take three or four days. If you want some long micros that ain't loose on the end, you want them bitches all the way braided down. Yeah, you're going to be in there a couple of days. You might miss the Let Me Stress You Out show. But put my show on while you get braided up. Put my shit on. Rewatch mine if you ain't watching it. Go back and look at some of them. We had some good ones now. You done missed on one. I need you to catch back up with me now. I need you to comment on some of them ones that I have in the thing. And you damn tell me what you thought about them, even though it's belated. Go back and I'm going to read your comment and be like, yeah, okay, good. She me watch that one. All right, good. Well, you know, that's one of my qualifications to be a bookhead. You know, you got to come to the show. I mean, Shimmy, you been, you OG bookhead. You know, I appreciate you coming. You OG. Yeah, you might have got some long braids or something. It took you a long time to get off with that. You must, you know what? Next time you get them braids, you got to let two Africans do it at one time. You got to go make sure they African. If you're going to get some braids and you some long clothes, make sure they African and make sure two of them do it. They start, they, they finish and quit. They finish, they'll knock you out. They'll knock you out in an hour. A whole head of braids, micro. They'll knock you out in an hour, two Africans. They braid faster than a bitch in Africa, I believe. So anytime you want to get braids, ladies, you remember, if you're going to miss the Let Me Stress You Out show, say, look, let me get two Africans before I be the miss the Let Me Stress You Out show. Let me get two Africans to knock mine out. Don't have me here for no three days. We, I got to see the Let Me Stress You Out show. Boogie B about to come up. That's what you tell them, Shimmy, next time. Shit. Net, baby, you know what we doing in here. I know, Net, you might not put on too much. You know, but you had your braid days, too, before you cut all your hair off and dyed it purple. You you know, you had your days, Net. You still might go get some braids, shit. You know what I'm talking about. I'm watching as I take a A. Hey, take your hair down carefully. Take that little rat tail comb. Stick it in the... Yeah, and pull a little stitch loose on the braids. That's how you do it. You take your time. It's going to take a long time because sometimes this shit, your shit going to be... Cut it first. Cut them all off on the tips first. You know your shit ain't out here. Cut your shit. Start it off right here where your shit started. at. Right there at the cookie bush level. Start your shit. Cut yours out. And then start unbraiding them. It'll be faster that way. Trust me. Okay, man. Anyway, this is the Let Me Stress You Out show. I know a whole bunch of shit. Don't worry about me. Boogie B no shit you don't know. I know. Come on, now. That's why I'm here to help y'all. On the Let Me Stress You Out show, I roast somebody on your behalf. So if you know somebody that need a roast, then you type this in the comments. And I got them right now. I, get, I got them right now. I got them on me. I got them on me. Like a six shooter. I got them on my hip. I'm ready for them, for Cry J. I'm ready for somebody to be done play with you. I'm already up on their ass as soon as you tell. Make sure y'all share the live now. Somebody ain't sharing the live. I know some of y'all busy. I know it's people that's busy on Mondays. But Kyra, did you share the live? Yes. I know you talk laughing at a cookie bush, but don't laugh at no cookie bush. My stepmama had a cookie bush for a long time. My daddy loved that lady. My stepmama had that little cookie bush like a little... Like a little Florida Evans cookie bush. You remember Florida had? She had that, but she was a good lady. Nah. Nah, that don't mean nothing. Anyway, Brandon said, Brandon, what up, boy? Happy Monday to you, too, bro. I'm getting it together on the Let Me Stress You Out show. That's all. Stop telling y'all secrets, Robbie G. Come on now, I tell everybody secrets. Now, I'm the mouth of the South. You know I'm going to tell somebody secrets. Shit. Don't give me the secret and don't tell me it's hush hush. You got to tell me it's hush hush. If you're going to tell me, say, Boogie, don't tell nobody. Or say, Boogie, between me and you. Because then other than that, then, you know, shit, I'm liable to say, hey, you remember you had that cookie bush? You remember when you had that purple cookie bush? Don't try to act like when I say cookie bush, all of a sudden you try to say, ha, ha, you that cookie bush. Ah, uh -huh, hell no. Nah. You know damn well what that is. Come on, Maria Davis, baby. I'll see you in the comments, baby. Why not? I'll see you with that top boogie, bro. I mean, top boogie badge over your head. Sorry about that, why not? 
Anyways, thank y'all, Echo Draw. Share the live on your B day. And if they don't come watch it when you share it on your B day, they phone it anyway. So, yeah, share the live right now. Oh, y'all, especially on your damn birthday month. Because you know I'm going to shout you out. I'm going to talk to you on your birthday. You know when you new in here and it's your birthday and shit, I specially talk to you. So you know, Ethel, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be communicating with you most of the time. Now I want to ask you a question. Because one of my Damn, I forgot. One of my boogie bros said one of my boogie bros said Okay, yes. One of my boogie bros told me to ask you. I had to read it because, you know, they inboxed it to me. I've been read it so fast and been forgot what I read. So I needed to put y'all back up on it. So then, now, anyway, one of my boogie, want me, one of my boogie bros want me to ask all y'all, Sandra Leo, you too, bro. He needed your opinion too, as well as Echo because it's her birthday. You know, my nigga want to know what, what he should do. He in a relationship and his lady does not defend him around her family. They, his, her family always telling him he ain't shit, he ain't got no job, he ain't holding it down, he ain't this and he ain't that. All they do is dog the brother. And, the, and she just, and she don't never defend him. She don't never be like, get up off him. Get up off Joe, man. Joe getting Joe in the studio. Joe about to blow. Don't worry about the fuck Joe doing. He got the affiliated record label. And he bought the pop with the record label, so he ain't trying to get no fucking job. But he got money coming in because he's still slinging that weed a little bit. So, I mean, he do got some money. She ain't saying none of this. She just letting him, she just letting him be, uh, 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 she just letting him be dogged out. There ain't nothing he can do about it. Hold up, I keep messing with my damn music. Hold on, everything going wrong today. Woo! Hold on, y'all. I got to have me some, now I got to have me some riding music. When you ride in the car with me, I ain't riding with no radio off now. I'm talking to oh, you over the music. Nah, ain't going to be no damn, what the hell you think this is? Why we got to be all damn quiet in this bitch? Anyway, Echo. What if you was dating a dude and he didn't defend your ass? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on through, Ethel. Danielle with a D. I know I see you in there. You know I'm going to want your UK opinion, too, since you from Liverpool, England. And who else from this? A couple of people from the UK to be coming through. Nancy, I think her name is. I ain't seen her in a minute. She ain't no, she ain't no dip yet. But once she becomes a dip, then I'll acknowledge her more often. But she do stop through. I don't think I catch Nancy too many on the, too much on the comments. She's telling her family all her business. Only the bad times, shaking my head. Yeah, that's definitely what she's doing. But but and they and they dog him in front of him. Like and they always dogging him. And he like, what should I do? Should I leave her? Should I break up with her for not defending me? When she know I got the affiliated records, and she know I sell the weed, she still ain't telling them people I sell a little damn, I'm selling a little bit of weed now. You know, the nigga could be selling some money. Well, I don't want to say that online, because I know it's illegal in some of y'all states. But uh, he, he making a little something. He ain't making what she making. And guess what? Did he, the girl pregnant. Oh, before you start talking about, yeah, he need to leave. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Not loud. Don't this kind of throws a little kibosh in your situation. God, kibosh. Yeah, it's a word. Look it up. Yeah. Kibosh and the Lord. Come on now. And the Lord says she got to go. But now the girl is prego going in. The girl is prego going in. And they ain't married. What y'all saying do not? Joe said keep her warm at night. Better speak up. Ooh. Oh, Robbie GC said keep her warm at night. Joe, whoa, whoa. People be shooting their shots when niggas like, Joe, come through this bitch. Joe, hey, hey, hey. It's going to be some of these badass, good coochie-having boogets that's going to get in your inbox. Now, I don't want you to... 
I want you to take your time. Now, don't come in right in here doing that. Now, you don't know what's going on in here. So just come to the show a few more days and keep your eye on her before you let her slide up in them DMs like that. Now, well, she has to know, uh, well, he has to let her know. Well, not live. Um, I'm going to say I'm pretty sure. I'm going to say I'm pretty sure that they've had the discussion. I'm pretty sure he said something to her before he came to Boogie B and the Boogie B high. Hey, hold up. You know, you know people come to the beehive, they really want to know something. They got a dilemma. They put in a predicament, in a conundrum, in a doozy. They want to know what they should do when they come to the Let Me Stress You Out show. What should we do now? He needs to let her know who she wants to be with and let them live, let them live their life. Yeah, your family be in your business. Yeah, uh, Santa Leo said to my boogie, boogie bro, my boogie bro in here too. I ain't gonna say who it is. I'm gonna say, listen, Santa Leo says she needs to let her family know this is who she wants to be with and let them live their life. Let them live their life, Santa Leo. Okay, so that means check them, don't check them, what that mean? Josetta said keep walking and he can still be the father to his, wow, Josetta, so you told, so you saying he should lead a girl and let her be a single mama over this shit. That's what it sound like you're saying to me, uh, Josetta Monroe. Joe said a Monroe, your ancestors just heard you say, walk and keep walking. He can still be a father to his child. He do not have to stay with no woman who don't defend him. That's what Joe said a Monroe said. She don't, he don't have to be with him. Woman who don't defend him and she gonna let them disrespect her man right there while she's sitting there and she ain't gonna say nothing a week. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know what you're saying over there, Joe said. I can hear you. I can hear you through the internet. Look, listen. I can hear Joe said her mouth over there. I can tell what she's saying out loud. Why is she typing on the keyboard? On the phone. She probably looking at that phone like, well, if she get her shit together. She pregnant now. You saying, go on, go about your business. See, Joe said her saying what she said. She's standing on that now. That's just what it is. I wouldn't allow any of my family. What did the vice president come in and say? Vice president come in his chat and said, I wouldn't allow any of my family or friends to be condescending to my mate. Keep them all in check and out of your business. That, oh, wow, wow. That's coming from the word. That's from, coming from the scripture. Hey, vice president know that word. Now, you know she used to be a pastor. She know that word. She said, I wouldn't allow any of her family to be in her business and be condescending. I would check them, she said. But, 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 how does my boogie bro handle this? I know what she should probably be doing now. Well, I don't know what the reasons is why she doing it, but... Come on, Lachelle. You know I'm going to catch you up, baby. You late, but you right on time for this rhyme. Tina Ronnie, stand back, but stand down. Wow, you saying stand back or stand down. That sounds like a, that sound like a, I need to leave as well. Say the situation, a gold people not answering right. Wow, say the situation, a gold people not answering the right. I don't know what that means, why next? You need to clear that one up for me, why next? Maria Davis says, share some things, but keep some things to yourself. Wow. Yeah, so you saying she shouldn't be telling the business, so she wouldn't have to defend. That's a good one. This, that's a, that's a good reason. That's a reason. That's a good if so fact though, if you will, uh, Maria. I mean, I don't know what that got to do with my, what my boogie bro gonna do, but I mean, she should probably share something, but not divulge everything to the family. But. Since she did divulge that my nigga Joe or whoever ain't got no ain't got no job and he ain't in and she pregnant and 
And he talking about he got a rap studio and all this stuff. So, you know, he ain't been making no money for the last. I mean, he ain't been working for the last little year or whatever. And they've been on your ass. And she and she just be like, I mean, they be like, why you with that nigga? Why you with Joe? Why you with Joe and Joe? Got all he trying to do is go to the studio smoking weed and freestyle. And that nigga ain't about to drop no damn album. He ain't about to be no 50-year-old Jay-Z. That nigga ain't about to jump in the game at 53 and kill it. No, bitch. Break up with him. That's what the family is saying about about her, about her baby daddy. And, and they saying it right in front of him. Disrespectful. Like, fuck Joe. Joe got a pistol on him and everything. Now, y'all play with Joe too much if you want to. If the Joe, Joe, out of respect for you, is not about to smack somebody with the pistol. So I'm just saying out of respect for his lady, he wouldn't let nobody else talk to him like that. But that's your people. That's your family. And he fuck, I mean, he love you. So, mm, he letting them do it, Shamey. I believe he letting them do it. Even though I think he could put his foot down if he want to. I believe that he could put the, I believe that he could put the Timberland on the ground on this one. I believe that he could. And I'm not saying whether he should or not. I'm just saying I believe he could just to let you know the amount of uh, endurance that he's exemplifying. Family got too much current info on him because of her. Yeah, that's true. Oh, Nick and St. Clair, baby, what's up with your chocolate big-breasted ass? How you doing? Good to see you, baby. Look, look, start taking some pictures and tucking them titties in, okay? Yeah, hey, I know them titties is, hey, I know them titties sitting on your lap. I know them titties sitting on your navel. Them titties are sitting on your belly button, Nick and St. Clair, and I love them. Chocolate that's from Inglewood in the hood. You ain't been here yet. Yeah, I don't think you caught the let me stretch you out your live before Nick and St. Clair. And, but you know me good. You know me and you go back to the comedy days before the COVID. Way before the COVID. And the Lord Joe needs to go. They don't respect him and she's allowing it to be so. So she. Damn. I'm going to stick this bitch up again. Lord Jesus. Hold on, y'all. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I got a coffee cup in my hand. Oh, shit. Dang. Oh, okay. All right, y'all get your laugh on. Get it on out, because some of y'all is... Eddie, Eddie Kane Jr. like me. Go ahead on and down. Go ahead on and get it all out your system, nigga. Because I ain't going to let this bitch fall again. I ain't going to let this bitch fall. I ain't going to let this bitch fall again. Go on, get your laugh out. Let me see who all in here laughing at. I knew it. Leave the curtain alone because we, we about to... I know we not the other cur I know y'all fucking with the curtain or not, but shit, I put it up there. I want the motherfucker up there. Now I'm pretty that it came to you. I want my show like I want it to stay up. I want my shit to stay up. Hey, you don't want to stay up, pretty that it coming out now. I stopped everything. I damn stopped the whole show. Like, hey, let me take my shit. This band-aid ain't holding. Let me get another band-aid and double the band-aid over the other band-aid. I got two butterfly band-aids. And that's why the shit is lopsided and everything. But, you know, hey, I got to do what I got to do when I'm on the road, baby. I got to do what I got to do when I'm on the road. Shay Brown, what's happening? The flag said, get the fuck. He needs the lead. Oh, you tell him the, the, the backdrop said that, that the old Boogie, Boogie Bro need to break up with his lady because she ain't defending him. Woo, Charlotte, Jessica Rabbit, let me see what you're talking about, because you said, regardless, the family going to have to deal with him because they share blood now, so I wouldn't leave her, 
I just wouldn't go to any of our family functions. Well, that makes sense, Charlie. Jessica Rabbit, you won't come in here on your goddamn uh, Maya Angelou shit. I see. You must have been reading some, uh, you're on your Tony Morrison shit. You've been reading some books, have you? What's going on there, Charlotte Jessica Rabbit? You came in on your po poetic shit. Charlotte Jessica Rabbit, Charlotte Garcia said, regardless, the family gonna have to deal with him now because the girl pregnant. They, they, so he about to be stuck in the family. He might well just deal with it. They ain't gonna like him. He gonna be the baby daddy or, or he gonna be the husband or boyfriend or whatever. But he definitely gonna be have to be around that shit. Either way, that's what Charlotte Jessica Rabbit, not Boogie B, Charlotte Jessica Rabbit says that. Anyways, Arnisha. Arnisha, you done came in here with the goddamn ghetto name of the day, baby. Right in the middle of the show. You stopped on through this bitch named Arnisha Carpenter. Arnisha Carpenter, you got the hood name of the day, baby. And you know Boogie B don't like nothing more. Than a ghetto name. I can't. I love a ghetto name. I love it. Cause that name Arnisha says that you ain't nothing if you ain't a sister. You is definitely black. Now you can fake and be like what you, whatever you want to try to call yourself, but you ain't a damn thing if your name ain't Arnisha and you're black. You definitely black. If you ain't you. If I, if you if you not black and your name Arnisha, then I'm then I, I'm LeBron James. And do I look like I could dunk on somebody? Absolutely not. Amy Ross with the sauce said, I wouldn't go to family events either because they too familiar with each other. You damn right they is. Amy Ross with the sauce telling it like it's T.I. is in here from New Orleans. Let me see. Arnisha needs a freaking very true. It's hard to come back from the other side. Arnisha, you did say some point in your shit though. Arnisha, right, hold on. While I'm up here talking about your name, I forgot to read what you put up in that mother. You done put in there. You said, like they say, they, your family to accept your mate after you told them all of your... Uh, don't expect your family to accept your mate after you done told them your mate, all your mate flaws, is what Arnisha came in here and said. You may decide to deal with that person again, and then you already have planted the seed of negativity in your family mind about your person. Now, you can't expect them not to want to tell them that he ain't shit when they really know that he ain't shit, but you just love him anyway. Why you told him that he wasn't shit then? You know you love a nigga and shit. Joe a good nigga and Joe putting exceptional ding a on you. Is Joe putting ding a on your family? If, if he was, then they would be a little more lenient like you. But since he ain't, that that's just what that's just what that's just what the people say. That ain't what Boogie B say. That's not what I say yet. Cause the part of the show is coming up, Joe, where I say what would what would Boogie B do in this situation? The WWBBD portion of the Let Me Stretch You Out show is up is, is coming up on us, vastly approaching right now. Uh, the Let Me Stretch You Out show. WWBBD portion of the show today is about this, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> My boogie bro told us that his lady don't defend him in public. I mean, to her family, not in public, but to her family. So that is in public, too. She let them say whatever she want, they want, is her, her mom, her aunties, her cousins, talking to the man crazy. And she pregnant for him. He want to know whether he should break up with her or not. Because they got the baby on the way now. Now, let me tell you something, Joe. Let me tell you something, Joe. Man, Tim Malloy, I'm glad you made it. You was late, but you right on time for this rhyme. Joe, let me tell you this. Boogie B and Joe, we different now. We done made it. We are on a little level of success where we don't have to put up with this type of shit now. I'm just telling you right now, Joe, listen. It's a lot of shit we do put up with. But some of this shit we don't have to. But now, let me tell you this. When it comes to the case of Boogie B, if you let your people talk about me and you're not defending me, and you're pregnant for me, I may not leave because of that. Because that coochie is splendor. And I would like to have, I like to hold on to that purple pack. You got a, 
If you got that chef size purple pack that I obviously love because I've been busting off up in it for on a regular basis. Oh, I've been busting off up in that purple pack. Let me show you. Hold on. That chef size purple pack, ladies and gentlemen. This is the type of coochie you want to marry. This is the kind that you get pregnant, you slip up and bust off in that thing. This is the kind. The red pack, nah, it's good. But you ain't going to slip up over that one. This one, you're going to use this one as decoration if you ain't even going to eat it all. You're going to be like, damn, them bitches so good, I'm going to save them in the household. Because you know why? These don't have that yellow one in there. The, uh, the other skittle, you know, the red pack of skittles got a yellow one in there. It's not too tasty. These don't have that yellow one in this bitch. You can look in here all day. You're not going to see that nasty yellow lemon motherfucker in there. And that's what's the difference between the red pack and the purple pack for real. And now the purple pack is coochie. It, trust me, it's, it's top shelf. It's top shelf and some of y'all in here got it. I'm not going to punch you out because I know who y'all. I can tell by the way you think. Come on, Lake Shay Renee. Y'all know y'all come to this show every day. I know how y'all brain works. I know how you tick. I'm not about to leave my purple pack now because somebody else on my own some bullshit. I'll make a let me stress you out video about your whole damn family now. I sure will. I wish they would talk, talk some shit about me because I ain't working. Okay, well, yeah. I ain't working then. Yeah, okay, well, I ain't working. I'm telling you a little, little joke, but it ain't making that much money. Okay, well, it ain't, well, let, well, let's talk about your receding airline. Let's talk about the fact that you're 29 and your hair already gone off your body. What, well, let's talk about that. How come your face so hairy and you don't have no hair on the top of your head? How, how come that? How come you got this thick ass lustrous beard and your eyebrows thick as hell, and 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 you and you don't have nothing in the top of your in the top of your cranium? No 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 type of hair. Now you want to play with me about this little job? I'm gonna get a job now, cause my lady pregnant. I'm gonna work it out. Me and your family gonna go back and forth. Cause guess who I am? Petty Etty King Jr. Now if they try to play, now they can think what they want. But if they come out loud and try to disrespect me in front of you, you ain't gonna have to disrespect. You ain't gonna have to say nothing. You ain't gonna have to say nothing. I'm gonna give them a nice little pass. I'm gonna say, see, you know y'all playing. You know what I mean? Cause y'all my girl people. Now I'll let y'all slide for a little while. But Petty Eddie on the way now. Petty Eddie on the way. Keep up. Keep it up. Keep saying this no job having ass nigga. Keep saying that in, in front of my face. And watch what happens. Watch I tell you about yourself. Watch I tell you how imperfect you are. Okay, yeah, I don't got no job. Maybe, yeah, I'm in the studio. The, the, the album ain't, hey, listen, the album ain't do well. Or something, you know what I mean? My mixtape ain't go right. Okay, cool, whatever the problem is that I don't have a job. And you told your people... And you told them that I ain't had no job and uh, I wasn't inputting into the household. You pay all of it. Whatever you told them. Okay, good. You told them that. You shouldn't have. But okay, let's get over that. Let's get past that. You shouldn't have told what you told. But I know times was hard. Maybe you thought we was breaking up. Maybe you thought we was on the fence. So cool. I'm going to allow you to have vented and accidentally allowed it to slip out that I didn't have employment. Okay, bet. After that. Motherfucker come disrespecting me now with it. Okay, in, in front of you, and you want to say something, you can say something. But if you don't, hey, you know what the ramifications to that is. You know that I'm going to call your, um, I'm going to call your cousin Gerald a bald head. Uh, uh, I'm going to call him a, a bald head, bushy face punk bitch. And then, then what? Then, then what? He going to want to fight me. And I'm going to tell you, well, you shouldn't have been trying to drill me about no damn job. And if we fight, that's on you. You done let me and your cousin get into it. Now the family don't fuck with us because I bust your cousin in the eye. And now your whole family done disavowed you because you let your a nigga unemployed nigga beat your cousin up. Now this, this was all your fault. You allowed it to happen now. We ain't never got to see him no more. They ain't gonna come to the house no more after that. Come on, Bernetta, you know how this shit go. You done seen it plenty of times. Hey, you done, if you ain't seen it, you heard about it, then you're with the D in the UK. You know this shit could go bad wrong, and now we ain't even, and we have Christmas dinner with just the household. 
Me, you, and our baby gonna be eating cream of dinner by ourselves. Your mama ain't gonna allow us over there no more because your uncle got involved and he tried to break the fight up and he fell over the over the table or whatever. And, and now she, and you know, his hip was already fucked up. So your mama mad, your uh, uncle with the fucked up hip mad, and your cousin who I, I blacked is mad. Who hairy face, old uh, hairy face, boy ass nigga, want to talk shit about somebody not having a job? So I end up roasting him. And then he, you know, and then he got mad, and then he, I end up blacking his eye, and your uncle tried to grab me and fell over the coffee table. Now this is all your fault. Now. Just gonna be me and you from here. Just me and you. Ooh, baby. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We don't need nobody, yeah. Just me and you. Hey, you know that, you remember that damn jam? It's gonna be me and you after the minute. I'm not about to break up with my lady. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hang in there. I know she ain't defending me and I ain't, you know, whatever, and they attacking me. I get it. But I think I can hold my own, specifically me. I'm not telling my Boogie Bro to do this. I'm telling y'all, this is WWBBD. What would Boogie B do? This was what I would do. I'm not leaving my life. I'm going to hang in there. And I'm going to stand my ground. And whoever come at it and try to roast me for, or whatever, try to talk shit and talk about you should break up with him, I'm going to be like, hey, whoa. Now, you know I'm putting good thing lean on your, on your niece now. Telling her to break up with me. You don't know where her life gonna go if she break up with me. That girl could break up with me right now. Look at her. She's sitting over there quiet right now. If she, you telling her to break up with me while I'm standing right here? Well, guess what? Let me tell you something. What's gonna happen? If I break up, if she try to, if you get this into her mind and she leave this green apple jolly ranch and stick dick, I'm about to sling this wood out the hood like it's understood. Yeah, baby, you gon' when she is, she gonna beg me to come back now, cause you know I'm I'm putting good dingling on her. I don't know if y'all ever had this type of dingling in y'all family or not yet. So some of y'all might not even know the ramifications of what's about to happen or the advice that you're giving her. Just sad about telling her to leave me alone. This is this is me talking to her family about when they try to tell me I ain't got no job and try to put all that weird shit telling her to break up with me. This is me. I'm not happy. Hey, well, if you tell her to break up with me, guess what? She's going to be on crack next week now. You never know now. You know, when you take good thinking away from somebody, she, and it's abruptly, and they ain't ready to let it go, it could be some consequences. She might slip into a dark place now. She might slip into the Dark Knight movie. She might slip into a, a she might spiral down into... She might spiral down into marijuana or to, uh, to a marijuana and alcohol binge. And guess what? You done lost your family member because you told them to break up with the good dealing that they already had just gotten pregnant by. You think somebody wanna leave their baby daddy because y'all telling her to uh 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 break up with him. He don't got no job. He ain't doing this, he ain't doing that, he ain't gonna take care of no bills in the house. That little money he making ain't shit. All that stuff y'all doing, yeah. Just remember that when you when you lose your when you lose your uh when you lose your daughter to the streets, she you never know what's gonna happen to that girl. That girl might hey listen. Don't tell nobody to leave nobody. Boogie B don't never tell y'all to leave nobody. When I give y'all this relationship advice or whatever I can give y'all, when you inbox me with questions, I got answers for you. Trust me, I got answers. I ain't going to leave you hanging. I'm going to tell you what you should do. But I'm going to also tell you what I should do and the reasons why I do it. Because some people want to know what I would do all the time. I don't know why. People be like, Boogie, what you would do if, if this happened? Because they know I'm going to keep it R E A L. What's happening to Dwayne Davis? Shit, you late as hell, but you right on time for this rhyme, OG. Shit, you know you coming. You my boogie bro. Don't worry about it. I'm going to have some hoodies for us, too. I want uh, I want my boogie bros to get these hoodies, too. Y'all get the let me stress you out hoodies. I got them I got them coming on sale, too. So y'all get the, my boogie bros. Y'all get the let me stress you out hoodies. What's going on in here? Okay. Yes, indeed. Now, to my boogie bro, let me tell you this. Before I close the show out, I got to give you you your advice. 
This is what I'm going to tell you to do, Boogie Bro. You have it. You came to me with the problem that your woman don't defend you in front against her family. Her family always dogging you out, disrespectful in front of her, and she don't say nothing. Now, everybody ain't Boogie B. Everybody ain't capable of standing toe-to-toe -to -toe verbally with the best of them. Everybody ain't capable of it. But I am, so I just tell you what I would do. But now, in the case where you not fully equipped like Boogie B is. Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Shit. It's all type of shit. Damn it. All right, y'all, come on now. Let's let's knock it out. I'm in a home stretch. Everything going wrong today. All right, come on. Let me see. You have a laugh. What? Let me see. You have a laugh so hard. It's not plowing your nose. Lord, 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 Lachelle. I don't know about that one. It's not plowing your nose. Maybe if I was getting tickled, then I was a baby. <laughs> but I like it when you laugh that hard, though. I like it when you laugh at my shit. Shauna Shanks, what's happening? You bet said. Event didn't leave Jody. She, hey, Jody ate the hell out that cookie. You got damn right. Oh, Shauna Shanks, let's not even talk about that now. Hey, let me tell you. That brings me to the conclusion to bring him. Because you know where I was going to bring him. You know I was going to bring him, Shauna Shanks. You know how I do. Because you want to. You my little, you my little bro. You my little bro, Shawana Shanks. Hey, we both slang a wood out the hood. Yours just is plywood. <laughs> it's it's a wood. It's it's not real dingaling. It's fake dingaling. Anyways, <laughs> Shauna Shanks. Let me tell my boogie bro. Let me tell my boogie bro. This. Shauna Shanks is going on. It's freezing up. Okay, Shauna. Sh Hold on, Anisha. Don't leave yet. Hold on. Inbox me. I'll tell y'all to uh, order you. I'll tell y'all to order the hoodie. Just inbox me, or you can inbox my vice president Michelle Nelson or Anisha. Or, uh, yeah. So, yeah, just order your Purple Pack hoodie. And it's pre-orders right now, so they all going to go out in time for y'all to put it on for Valentine's Day and put that, take that picture and send it to me. Anyways, let me see. I'm the only one that wants the curtain to fall at the end, of, right at the end of the day. Shay Brown, this motherfucker is hanging on by them for band days now. So it might be able to hang on there. I'm not sure for sure, but I'm thinking that's good going to be up there. But I have it together tomorrow. Shit. Come on, Danielle, with the D. I'm running all over the place when I be working. You know, I'm I'm not at the crib with my CP like I set up my studio, you know. Uh, Miss Fu, what's happening, baby girl? Appreciate you coming through. Listen, let me see. All right, cool, 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 cool. So let me tell my boogie bro what to do. My boogie bro, this is what I want you to do to your girl. First, I want you... To eat that coochie like Jody from um, Baby Boy, right? Definitely do what Shawana, Sh Shawana Shanks said. You got that, at that, you boy ought to be the net that coochie to a tear roll down her eye on the side. You remember how after he smacked, he bit? And he ate that coochie so good, she was like, Pew! a little a teardrop went into her ear. Now, you eat that coochie to a teardrop fall in her ear? You gonna be good off. She ain't going nowhere now, nah, cause you already she pregnant already. So you already have obviously been doing a very stellar job. So I commend you on that as well, boogie bro. You got to lock down. You put the seed up in her. Good. So outside of that, hey, you damn right, Shay Brown. You damn sure have. Anyway, hit that cash out too before we close out. Make sure y'all hit that dollar sign, boogie B L L C. With, if you already, if you got a little extra change, I'm not, I don't know what y'all pockets like, but either you can order your purple pack hoodie, you can order your let me stretch you out hoodie, or you can just tip a little something in there, sprinkle it in, I don't know, sprinkle it. it <laughs> there you go with it, you know I don't have to beg for something because it's already, y'all going to get to because you know I need it. That's all. Good, good coochie got donation money, they a lot in their bank account, they they know what they're going to give away. I'm going to give away this amount this month to the homeless. I'm going to give this away to the church house. I'm going to get, you know, you already doing things with your life, you know. When you, yeah, you already got it planned out like that. Anyway, Boogie Bro, this is what you do. Get on CMOS. Eat that coochie like Jody from, uh, eat that coochie like Jody from Baby Boy. And then, 
You just let, you distance yourself from the whole family. You don't never have to see it. You can stay home and watch the game when she go over there. This shit don't never have to be no problem. If your relationship with your lady is great, you damn hang in there and, and, and make sure she ain't going nowhere over this shit. Make sure your power of, your sheer power of ding lean is strong. Or, or in your case, uh, Shawana Shanks, make sure sheer power of your coochie eating skills or your uh, strap on skills is very good. So make sure you strap that thing lean on good, Joanna Shanks, and bang that bang that girl coochie to the best of your ability. Eat it real good, and then you already didn't, well, you might didn't get her pregnant in yo, but y'all did go in on the baby or at the at the sperm donor place or whatever. Cool, Joanna Shanks. I'm just trying to do something for everybody because you know I love gays and lesbians as well, not personally and sexually, but I don't mind what y'all doing with y'all coochies and thing leans. It don't got nothing to do with me. I'm over here minding my own damn business. I don't, hey, I help everybody. So my booger, bro, you got to do right and just deal with it, bro. And you can work it out if you put the, the proper, the proper penis has done way stranger things than had a girl pay all their bills now while they on their ass. There's plenty of dudes with ding ling enough for y'all to take care of the bills until they get on their feet. If you don't believe that that's true, you just ask Boogie B. <laughs> It's I ain't going to stand here and lie to y'all. Let me get my damn show together. Thank y'all for coming. I'm going to IG and try to get this show all the way together and see what's going on and get my show tight like it was. And then I'm going to see y'all on IG if y'all double dipping. If you're not double dipping, I will see y'all tomorrow. Double dipping is watching me for an hour on Facebook and an hour on Instagram for those of y'all who don't know. So boom, let's go over to IG and see what we can do. Woo!